If you're considering a move to St. Petersburg, Florida, then there's way more to know than just sunshine, beaches, and boating. I'm going to take you on a tour of some of the most sought after neighborhoods in St. Petersburg. So this is gonna be a fun one and a highly contested one. So I'm interested to see all the comments and stuff below. If you're new here, I'm Connor Green. I run my own real estate team here locally, the NoBS Group, and I cover all things Tampa Bay. So from neighborhoods to things to do, restaurants, day trips, all of that good stuff. So that way you get a really good idea of what it's actually like to live here. So if you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any of the great content. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to this area or have any real estate questions, shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. Myself and my team would be honored for the opportunity to earn your trust in business. I'm gonna start my neighborhood tour with you with the park that's in the heart of St. Petersburg, Benoit Park. Behind me, you can see downtown views, the marina, the pier, and the iconic Vinoy Hotel. It's really the center of St. Pete and gives a good feel for what the city is all about. The active lifestyle here is evident, with people always out and about walking their dogs, running or rollerblading. St. Pete is known for its healthier lifestyle. Tons of free workout classes, like free yoga at the pier every first Wednesday of the month, and tons of other pop-up events too. It's also a safe area that connects to many of the communities we're going to cover today. So let's head a few blocks down the street to our first neighborhood stop, the historic Old Northeast. Old Northeast is just north of downtown and has about 2,975 historic buildings. It has an average price point of $1,212,500 with a range between $515,000 to $6.1 million. Its borders are 30th Ave to the north, 4th Street to the west, 5th Avenue to the south, and the waterfront along Tampa Bay to Coffee Pot Bayou to the east. This area is incredibly walkable and you can easily bike into the downtown district, friendly shopping, restaurants, and attractions. North Shore Park is a favorite of mine. They've got swimming, biking, walking paths, play area for kids, sports courts, and a small beach. It's a great place for a picnic, stroll with your dog, or a run along the waterfront. I especially love North Shore Aquatic Complex. It's a fantastic spot to get a swim in for an incredibly low $5 walk-in fee, which is ridiculous. And believe it or not, it's also been the training spot for some Olympic swimmers. So for $5, you can train in the same spot that Olympic swimmers have. Next up is historic Kenwood. This vibrant, colorful, and artsy neighborhood is full of restaurants and fun things to do. It was placed on the National Register of Historic Places actually in 2003 and is known for its artist enclave where artists can sell their work directly from their homes. The area features century old homes with unique architecture, red brick roads, and a laid back art loving community vibe. So if you're looking for a cute and quaint neighborhood, Historic Kenwood is one to definitely check out. It has an average price point of $570,000 with a range between $260,000 to $1,359,000. Now let's head over to downtown St. Pete where we're seeing a lot of the new development. Including condos, townhomes, and single family, we're seeing an average price point in downtown St. Pete of $1,255,000 with a range between $300,000 to $8.25 million. This area is packed with historic architecture, waterfronts, restaurants, museums, boutique shopping, luxury high rises, and the beautiful shaded parks. It's home to the University of Florida's St. Pete campus, the Tampa Bay Rays, the Rowdies, which is one of my favorite teams, you gotta go see them, and various cultural venues like the Mahaffey Theater and the Salvador Dali Museum. The best way to explore downtown is by bike, or frankly, you can just walk, and you can also use the free downtown looper trolley. Now heading back up north and crossing the bridge from the Old Northeast, we are going to arrive at Snell Isle, which I'm excited to show you too. Surrounded by water, Snell Isle offers a quiet atmosphere with active amenities like the Vinoy Golf Club and easy water access for kayaking and boating. It has an average price point of $1,680,000 with a range between $670,000 all the way up to the luxury new construction waterfront at $9.6 million. The neighborhood features an eclectic mix of large Mediterranean estates, European style single family homes, and large new construction modern architecture. 
Snell Isle is known for its new money and luxury living just beside the golf course. Now, just south and a little bit over from Snell Isle, we will find the Crescent Lake neighborhood, which is one of my absolute favorite neighborhoods in St. Pete because of Crescent Lake. Living in Crescent Lake is a dream for anyone who loves the outdoors and pet lovers. It has an average price point of about $700,000 with a range between $440,000 to $1.485 million. The neighborhood revolves around Crescent Lake Park, a dog-friendly haven featuring a dedicated dog park. You'll also see a lot of people walking their dogs on the trails, jogging, or even just getting in a peaceful stroll. One of the big things that Crescent Lake has been known for is becoming a hub for pickleball, which is an absolute craze. It is a fun sport and it is a social sport and it's a great way to meet people in the neighborhood. This neighborhood is renowned for its abundance of historic homes, which each radiate its own unique charm and character, which adds to its welcoming atmosphere. So whether you're a dog lover, a fitness enthusiast or history buff, Crescent Lake offers a vibrant and engaging community that I am positive will impress you. Whether it's the historic charm of Old Northeast, the vibrant art scene in Kenwood, bustling downtown area, waterfront living in Snell Isle, or parkfront living in Crescent Lake, each neighborhood has something unique to offer you. If you're planning on making a move to the Tampa area, let myself and my team, the NoBS Group, help find you that perfect home and the neighborhood that's gonna fit your lifestyle. See that number on the screen? Give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and we would be honored to earn your trust in business. If you like this clip and wanna watch another one, go ahead and click here. And if you wanna make my day, smash that like button, drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on the next video we drop.